Let's activate call recording in iOS 18. Now, if you have a new iPhone and you wanted to record someone's call, that is a new feature in the latest iOS operating system. You can either transcribe those to text or just keep them as audio. I'll walk you through the entire process, but first hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now on your phone, there are some requirements. So older phones will not be able to do this call recording, even if you upgrade to iOS 18. You need an iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max, or you need any iPhone 16, iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, or an iPhone 16 Pro Max. So keep in mind, you need one of these five different phones for it to work at this point. But once you do that, you just open up the phone app here and you tap to call someone. Once you do call them, you'll see at the very top left an option to basically record the call. It'll look something like this. You can see this example here. So basically I can open up, well, let me open up this image here. Make this a bit smaller. There we go. At the top left here, you'll be able to see the option to record a call. And on here, this is a better option. So you can see at the top left here is those little wiggly lines. That will be the button that you press to record the call. Keep in mind, this is not secret. It will send a notification to you as well as to whoever you're calling that this call is now being recorded. So you can't do this privately or without them knowing. They will get a notification every single time that you're recording this call. But the cool thing is, is basically it will record the call and then automatically dump those into the notes app on your iPhone. So after you're done with the call, it'll dump them into the notes app where you can jot down more notes and you can even transcribe that audio, basically the call recording in audio to text. So you can see it in text as well. If you just wanted a text transcript of that call, you can also do that on your iPhone as long as you have a newer iPhone running iOS 18. I hope this helped. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.